Alright, so I figured I'd make a little video here to kind of help people with safety wire. If they had questions or I had friends who thought that safety wiring was really hard. So I thought I'd make like a little video on some techniques that might help you with safety wiring. Especially when you're doing something complex like six uh, rotor bolts all in one piece of safety wire. Which can be done, it's a little complicated I guess if you're new to safety wiring. but. You know, I just figured I'd do a little video on how to kind of thing. So I pick up a big spool. This is a 32 thousandths diameter. This is aircraft stainless steel uh, safety wire. It's a huge spool. Um, it just comes by weight. So here's one solid pound and there is a lot inside of this wheel. It's just solid. So I got this on Amazon for like $20, something like that, 20, 30 bucks. Another good thing, a must have, is a good set of safety wire pliers. Um, you get a cheap pair of safety wire pliers and they're not going to grip and have really good bite. So you want something that's got to have a really girl gnarled uh, edge to it. And they got real sharp cutters down here for cutting the wire easily. And also lock in place, and this is key to being able to safety wire right. Um, this handle should spin and retract easily. So, good safety wire pliers makes the job work. And then this locks the bite down for you so that it holds on to it while you do the twist. So anyways, that's just uh, what you shouldn't get. And then I'll show you with a simple piece of like how to safety wire real quick. And then I'll finish up with these, uh, these six rotor bolts that I've already started. Basically, you're going to take your wire, straighten it out. It's going to come out kind of twisted or whatever. Just pull it straight between your fingers. Be careful because these ends are sharp. Um, this thin a wire, if you push on it hard enough, you can stab right through your skin, pierce your skin fairly easily. So, anyway, so I'll just save the wire from like one bolt to the next. Feed this through this bolt here. started I just fed it through and you kind of have to curve it a little bit to get through a bolt head like this pull it through so that you got your always pull your safety wire straight so that it matches up on the ends pretty close to each other so you got it half and half you want it to be even otherwise you're just wasting safety wire the first thing you do before you just grab this and start twisting away you want to lock down this wire so that it doesn't move off that nut. So the first thing I'm going to do is give it a little twist. Now pulling these out, if you notice, they're about a 90 degree angle. And then pull apart with good pressure from your fingertips. Give it a twist. Okay? And that's just a good way to get it started. Then, when you grab your safety wire, don't grab down here and twist. Otherwise, all of this is going to have a twist. You want to go to this is where my hole is going to be that I'm safety wiring to. Pull your safety wire together, and bite it, or grab it right over, directly over in line with the hole. Now, when you do longer pieces of safety wire, the longer you get, the further down and little excess you're going to have to give it, just for the fact that when I twist these, they're going to get shorter and tighten up. So this. The length of the safety wire from here to here is this long right now, but when I twist it, it's going to tighten up. So you learn from doing a lot how much a little excess you're going to need. And with something this close, though, I almost don't go over it all. I pretty much bite it right there on the line. Pinch these together, lock it in place. Now my safety wire pliers are locking onto my wire, and I pull on this little handy end here. I'm going to pull on it, it's going to twist a few times, I'm going to pull it again, and a few more. But what you're looking for, if you were to measure this, you want like 10 to 12 twists per inch, is like the magical like perfect amount of twists for safety wire so that it's not too tight that it's going to snap, and it's not just a few twists where it's too soft and flimsy. You actually want to have it, it's like a perfect add strength to it. When you get the right number of twists. 
Now I got it a little bit short, so I want to add a few more twists to it. I could either bite it again and give it uh, that last little bit that I want to add, but I'm just going to add a few more twists by hand. And I'm going to pull these apart. I'm going to get them at a 90 degree angle from each other. Put a finger underneath and over. And with pulling these two wires away, I'm going to do a rotation. And if you keep a lot of tension on these two wires, you can make these twists look just as good as if you were doing it with your safety wire pliers. And so what I'm looking for is to get that twist close to the hole where I'm going to, but not past it. Actually, that's pretty close right there. Okay, so I'm happy with the length that I have. And you don't want to get it past that hole or all the way to it, because when you pull this cable through, the safety wire through this hole, it's actually going to pull it tight. Feed it through where you're going. Now bite it, in, grab the end of this wire, pull it through, right? Feeding it through. And what you're going to do is whip that. And if it breaks off or lets go, no big deal. This is just all excess wire anyways. But technique is whipping that. Now this is like rope tight. And notice my knot goes right to the very end of that nut. So I didn't over tighten it or I mean didn't put too many twists where this is really flicked. Uh, flexible. It's nice and like a rope. That's what I want. Now while I have that, I'm going to take this and pull them over and twist. Now it's kind of like locked down. The tension's already there exactly the way I want it. Now I'm just going to grab out here at any, any amount of distance. Just something over an inch. Inch, two inches. I'm going to do some more twists. I'm just doing this as an example, just between two. And here's another technique called around the world. So after you've already done your twists and you're happy with the number of twists, you can grab this whole wire and rotate it. While you're rotating these pliers all the way around together, you're not just twisting it and you're not just making a circle because this doesn't do anything. You have to rotate your safety wire pliers with the wire. When you do that, you end up putting tension way down here at the very bottom, at the base. You're not twisting the wire up here, twisting the wire at the very bottom by doing that. So now that I've got that, this tension down there along the nut is nice and tight. Now I'm gonna snip it off. I'm gonna take this excess and grab it and twist it in. And the reason you wanna twist that in, now if someone's hand, fingers, whatever, touch it, you're not going to get it caught. You don't want this wire sticking out, stabbing someone or catching on things. So that way you got a nice soft edge that you don't have to worry about. And that's a simple little had a safety wire from one point to the next. Now if I want to break this off, I'm going to grab as tightly as I can all the way down at the bolt and I'm going to pry on it. It's going to break free and that comes right off. Same with this other side. I'm going to grab it right down there on right against the nut. And pry on it, it's going to flop right off. Don't want to say to where I throw it away. <laughs> Don't leave it on the ground because you're going to stab yourself. Really hate it later. Okay, so this one I've already started. I'm going to safety wire these six. And I want one piece of wire. So what I did is I started with a long piece of wire and I folded it kind of in half loosely and saw about how long it was. Now I need about enough to go around in this like few inches. It's probably like six, seven, eight inches diameter. But all I did is made plenty of excess. I'd rather have too much than too little. And then I've already started two and I'm just gonna continue on. I've already got this nice and tight. Pull these two. this once again, line it up right on top of where you want it to stop. Once again, for longer ones, you're going to go over that line just a little bit, but for these ones, they're so close. You almost don't need any excess. Twist it. Since I have a lot of excess 
wire, you gotta be careful that this doesn't whip you around and hit you in the face. <laughs> Just a little more. And once again, do a little round the world. Get that knot nice and tight right down here at the base. I'm gonna let go. Unravel these, see where I'm at. And pretty much one more twist. Yeah, perfect. That's right where I want it. And feed this through. Now pull your cable away as you're feeding it through and then allow it to line right up. Nice, like a rope. Again, do these nice and tight. Do one loop, maybe a second. And pull them back together again. Take this. Pull these two. And I'm gonna go kind of over this bolt here, straight across it. I don't want to go around it. I'd actually prefer my hole to actually be like over here on this top side. But this is where it is, so. I like to do my last twist or so by hand for the most part, just so that I can get it exactly where I want it to be. just stop right there but I actually made another hole so I could continue to the last bolt I just put two holes in it okay, that one made quite a bit short so put a few more twists into it when you get really good with twisting this wire you can look at it you can't even tell which knots which of these twists you did by hand and which you did with the safety wire pliers. Just comes with practice, I guess. that off. Sure. You're done with your safety wire. The good thing you do is kind of like bend it over, tie in a loop, kind of bow it up a little bit, twist it around each other. So you kind of wrap up a lot of the sharp ends. And you just got a big ball of it, throw it in the trash. 
again grab this end. I'm gonna turn mine in so it's out of the way. And that's safety wiring. It's a little more complicated job because it's six nuts together. One of the techniques you're looking to do when you're doing from bolt to bolt is your safety wiring from to hold the nut down. That's the whole purpose of safety wiring. You want a safety wire from so that this wire is pulling this down and then this one is also pulling this nut closed. And then from here this is pulling this nut tight and seeing that this from here to here it's holding that tight. I mean this isn't the best example but you should be going over under over under over under when you're going from one bolt to the next if that makes sense. But none of these bolts now will unscrew whatsoever. And then now I got the other side to start with. Anyways, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And if you have any questions, just leave some comments in the uh, space below. Thank you.